Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and I'm going to be continuing to use this intro. I only got two comments on it. One of them was positive and the other was negative. So I'm uh, I'm not really sure at this point. So just, you know, leave comments if you want the intro to change. Uh, also, I'm going to shorten out my intros for the future and I'm going to leave all the other uh, intro related stuff sort of at the end of all of my videos. So if you are a you know subscriber and you want to hear about channel updates, stuff like that, then you'll have to listen to the end of the video. Uh, instead of the beginning as it usually was because I want you know non-subscribers to come to the channel and see you know content right off the bat and you know stuff that interests them and uh, obviously I care about my subscribers too but you know new people coming to the channel aren't going to like a giant long intro so uh, with that being said let's get straight into the topic of today's video today we're going to be talking about pit skins and other skin related sites and basically going to be making a gigantic guide related to all of them and this video was suggested by hey yay 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 <laughs> that's how you pronounce it so thank you for the video suggestion and let's get straight into it so the first site that we're going to be talking about is going to be bitskins so bitskins is a really really popular site right now in the csgo market world and a lot of people use it in pretty much all aspects if you're trading buying selling whatever you're doing you can pretty much use bitskins for it and the site is also a really good way to make profitable trade-ups out of you know usually non-profitable trade-ups also you can get skins for a lot cheaper than they usually go for I know I was looking at an op lightning strike for example recently and uh, you can get an op lightning strike on the steam community market for about ninety dollars but on bitskins you can get one on you know on a low, a low price with like stickers and stuff too for only like fifty nine to sixty dollars which is super nice so honestly if you base your inventory worth on the steam community market and what csgo exchange tells you your inventory is worth then technically buying from bitskins alone puts you in profit because technically you're getting a, a much lower priced skin putting in you know direct money and you're getting a skin that's worth a lot more on the same community market. Now obviously you have to take into account fees and stuff like that, but a lot of the time the stuff on Bitskins uh, actually after you sell it on the Steam market for you know the lowest price possible, you'll still make profit overall, which is actually pretty nice. Honestly, it's not a bad site and uh, you can pretty much profit just from buying on it alone. But there's also another method uh, for profiting on it that I want to talk about in this video just because I want to kind of round it up in this guide. I have talked about it before on one of my previous videos, but I'm going to talk about it again here just because, you know, it's it's important to have it in this big kind of guide for anybody who hasn't heard about it already. And that method, of course, is trade-up contracts. So you can actually get a lot of the trade-up contract input materials on Bitskins for a lot cheaper than you can get them on the same community market. And then when you get the profitable item from that trade up in game, you can go and sell that item on the Steam community market for a lot bigger margin than you would usually get. So take for example the Op Asimov and Og Chameleon trade up. If you go to Bitskins and buy them on there, you can get the skins for about 30% off each. So instead of paying about $30 a total for the trade up, you can end up paying around $25, uh, sometimes up in the 28 kind of range. And then if you get the Op Asimov from that trade up, you now have a $40, $50 skin uh, on Steam Market pricing that you got for the price of about $25 to $28. So it actually gives you a nice $15 profit margin or so instead of about a $10 profit margin, which is really cool. I'm going to keep that sort of brief. If you want a more in-depth explanation about it, I have made a video on that before. You can go check it out on my channel and that will kind of go into a little bit more depth about the trade-up method on Bitskins. One more thing to mention about Bitskins before we move on to the next site is how profitable the margins are on a lot of knives on the site. Uh, a lot of the knives on Bitskins actually go for a much, much lower price than their Steam Community Market pricing. I know I just got a knife on Bitskins uh, kind of recently for $180, and the price on exchange in the Steam Community Market was about $260, $280, roughly in that range. So that is like a huge margin. Uh, that you can definitely, you know, make up if you were to go and sell it on the Steam Community Market. So for that reason, make sure you're definitely looking at knives and make sure you're looking at the suggested prices and stuff like that when you're looking at knives because a lot of them have super, super good margins and a lot of them have, you know, a really, really nice uh, error area for you to profit even with fees. All right, with Bitskins out of the way, let's talk about the next site. This one is Skin Baron. Uh, this is actually a better site for people that are in Europe and uh, around that area that play CSGO because Skin Baron has uh, more native features for people that are in that area. And the delivery, the connection, the speed on the on connecting to the site, and the currency they use, like all that kind of stuff is a lot more centric for you guys. 
So if you do live overseas from America, if you do live in Europe in that kind of area, I would definitely recommend using Skin Baron over Bitskins um, because it does have you know better margins for your currency and stuff like that. Just want to make sure that you're getting you know the best possible deals. So that's what I would recommend for you guys. And uh, obviously you don't have to use it. You can still use Bitskins. That's still definitely an option. But basically there's not much else to say about profit on Skin Baron because it's basically the same concept as Bitskins. You can buy them for a lot lower prices than they go for on the same community market, and you can make money based on that. I will say one thing about Skin Baron that is different than Bitskins, though, is their fees are actually a lot less malleable than they are on Bitskins. I don't know, recently there's been a lot of weird threads on Reddit and stuff like that where people are talking about Bitskins being a little bit weird about their fees and uh, a little bit weird about their transparency to their customers. So uh, Skin Baron probably has an advantage over Bitskins in that, uh, in that sense. So if you do want a site that is a little bit more, I guess, trustworthy overall, I wouldn't really use that word. Uh, that's not, you know, the, the best word to use there. But if you do want a site that is a little bit more transparent with their fees and stuff like that, then Skin Baron is, I would say, a better option than Bitskins. Uh, but both sites are still, you know, overall very trustworthy and very good sites to use. All right, now moving on to the next site. Now we're going to be talking about trade sites. Uh, this includes sites like CS.Money. And also there are a couple more that are smaller though, not as important. CS Money is pretty much the best one to go to for you know trading skins and stuff like that. So the way that these sites work is they kind of work like marketplaces where you can sell your skins on the site and buy skins on the site uh, using you know different methods like payment with a card or PayPal or other skins that you already have. And uh, these sites are nice for people that kind of want to swap out skins. So like for example, uh, the M484 Dragon King that I recently gave away. Now, if I wasn't choosing to give that away, then I could take the M484 Emperor that I now have, use that as my play skin, and then I could trade the M484 Dragon King for a better margin than I would get by just selling it on the Steam Community Market, and I could trade it for a skin on CS.Money, and that would give me, you know, a, a better margin of profit and a better, uh, lower er a margin of error than I would have by selling it on the Steam Community Market and dealing with fees. So for people that want to do that, the site is definitely a good option, uh, but for the most part, the site is kind of niche. There's not a lot of stuff you can do uh, on the site that will really give you really profitable margins. Uh, the site tends to have really odd pricing when it comes to stickers and some, you know, very specific skins. So for that reason, I, I don't know, you know, how much I would recommend using this site as an overall marketplace site. I would definitely gravitate more towards Bitskins for that sort of use. But uh, it is a good overall site. I have used it multiple times for trading out skins and stuff like that. And that's also where I got my Desert Eagle Conspiracy with a Virtus Pro Hollow from Cato 2015 for a fairly good price just by swapping it out with another skin. Also, if you want a specific skin to swap out for and you don't want to just use their like smart select system, then they'll actually reimburse you with a little bit of currency that you can use on the site to buy skins with as well. So for example, let's say you have a $10 skin and you want a $7 skin from CS.Money, you can do that trade and then they'll give you another $3 on your account balance that you can use to buy whatever you want. So basically they don't try to take anything from you, they will you know, give you your money reimbursed as a currency on the site, which is pretty nice. One tip that I do have for you uh, when you're using CS Money though is you can actually get stickers on the site for weird prices because CS Money is a little bit weird about you know how much they price stickers at when they're on guns and stuff like that. They try to do it correctly and sometimes they do it very very wrong. So you can actually profit from doing that. You just have to look at the stickers and you have to figure out what they go for on their fair market value and stuff like that. And uh, you can actually end up profiting quite a bit. I think the Desert Eagle Conspiracy that I got was, I think, $4 when I originally got it, but now because the sticker price rose and it was kind of a rare sticker, I think I can now sell it back for like 7 or 8 on, on CS Money, but I think it is actually worth even more if I were to just trade it to someone else. So definitely keep an eye out for profitable stickers on that site. There are definitely a few that I have seen uh, that I've even passed up on, so they might even still be up there. So just keep an eye out for stuff like that when you're on CS.Money, and you might actually find something really, really nice. And other than that, there's not really a lot of other good sites to use for CSGO marketplaces and CSGO trading and stuff like that. Uh, it, basically, it just is Skin Baron for European people, uh, Bitskins for United States, Canada, you know, that kind of area, or really honestly globally. And then uh, you have CS.Money, which is sort of for everybody to just trade and swap out skins and to do things like that. 
Uh, other than that, though, there is not really any other big sites that are worth mentioning here. So hopefully that kind of helped you with figuring out what you could use the sites for and uh, what you can, you know, do to get profit on the sites. Other than that, guys, that is about all I have to say. So let's go straight into the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting recently. And the criticism is definitely really nice because it helps me improve my videos and stuff like that. I definitely wanted to make my intros shorter. I've been wanting to do that for a while now, but uh, I guess the best way to do it is to kind of put a lot of the subscriber information at the end of the video like it is here. So uh, that being said, let's talk about a few things. First of all, uh, I did want to say that there was a slight uh, sort of good thing that happened recently concerning my most recent video. So uh, if you look at actually the announcement that I have up on screen, uh, Global Offensive Trade, the CSGO trade subreddit, is actually doing a lot more for people who want to trade for TF2 keys or for Dota Arcanas and Dragonclaw hooks. Uh, they are being used a lot more for traders on there and for high tier traders. So uh, I think my video was really timely because this just happened today. And uh, yeah, you guys can go on the, the Go Trade subreddit and people have a very positive outlook on TF2 keys and stuff like that. So if you have a whole bunch of TF2 keys and you want some CSGO skins for them, definitely go check out that subreddit and they will hook you up. So uh, with that being said, also, just one more quick update. There's about five days left until I will be drawing the winner for the AK-47 Cartel and the Master Guardian Hollow, and uh, that, that'll be happening pretty soon, guys. So, thanks for entering that giveaway on the second video that I made concerning the giveaway series, and uh, thank you for all the nice comments, again, that I've been getting. It makes me feel good as a content creator to help you out with stuff like that and uh, to help you out with all your concerns. I will be obviously responding to people's comments that are on each of my videos with as much help as I can possibly give to you guys because I do want to educate you all about these different things that we're dealing with in the CSGO marketplace. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like below. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to my channel and put notifications on so you don't miss a video. And uh, tell me in the comments below if you have any ideas for future videos that I could, uh, that I could you know, credit you for. Or if you have any sort of concerns or questions that you need answered, I can definitely do that for you. All right, that's going to cut it for my intro slash outro thing that I'm doing, I guess, now. Uh, if you guys did watch all the way to this point, go in the comments below and type uh, Arizona. Type the word Arizona, like the state in the United States. Type Arizona out. A-R-I-Z-O-N-A. And uh, for everybody that types Arizona out, I'm going to be putting you into a special giveaway. And that's going to be for some nice skin in the future and it's only going to be people that that comment arizona on this video so make sure you go do that and i'll be entering you into a special little giveaway just to thank you i guess for watching my entire video here and being a, a good supporter of me so guys that is going to be it for that little giveaway portion thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace